Hi, and today we're going to have a look at problems with your actual keyboard and things like the key map being wrong, ampersands coming out instead of double quotes, and also not being able to use the cursor keys or arrow keys on your keyboard. So I'm just going to start up my configuration in the emulator. I've loaded into Workbench F12, and you'll see my input for the joystick is keyboard there. Now, first of all, that will actually prevent the arrow keys from working. And I'll just demonstrate that. So let's come out of there. And I'm gonna load up a CLI window. And from here, I'm just gonna do a dir in there, just to actually uh, show the directory listing of the actual workbench. So I'm gonna CD to my programs and I oop I haven't got anything in there. So if I press the up and down keys now I can't go through the last commands that I've just placed in there. Nothing is working at all. And normal DOS or normal command lines if you press up and down even with command line this old you'll actually get the history of what you placed in there before uh, reason being is because if I hit F12 you'll notice that the keyboard is sitting in the actual input options here so if I and press enter on that and press enter on joystick ports it's got keyboard and go no host device escape that you can see that no host device is now as an input option and now if we escape again and use our up and down arrow keys we can see it now goes through those, those commands so that's one thing resolved another thing to remember is that the Amiga joystick here is connected to the default Linux keyboard so to change that for the future just stick this to no host and you won't have any more problems with the arrow keys not working now if I try to hold down shift and the uh, use the double quote you can see I'm getting the at symbols obviously if I hit shift and the other, and the at symbols I'll get the double quotes and that's just key mapping just normal, normal key mapping um, get this to well in Windows and Linux and that's quite easy to solve so we go to our window Oops. workbench sorry and we'll bring that to the front also I can sort out the actual mouse because it's really fast and double click on preferences if we look in here we've got input let's just double click on the input and you can see it's set to American at the moment so I'm going to set that to British if you use an American keyboard it's obviously that'd be okay but if you get in the reverse, obviously pop in here and set it to American, depending on what your key map is. And I'm just going to decrease the mouse speed as well to make it a bit easier. Don't want that. Let's go one with the acceleration. That's better. So we'll save that. If you notice as well, I jump in here. There's a keyboard test here. So I can actually click in here and try the keys out so I'm getting that getting the correct keys there save that off and that's all done there is also somewhere a thing in here we go key show this will show you what our current keyboard layout and where all the keys are so if I hit shift you can see what keys I have here and you can see it's an English layout British layout rather than the American one that I selected before which the British one is correct for my keyboard okay so that's how to simply change those problems that you might have with the keyboard and to fix those issues